many schools have started the shift from IT to AI. The teachers are just users of AI and the students are builders of AI. And in my opinion, the curriculum of IT is completely outdated with a lot of concepts students already know. How they are going to teach AI, how they are going to introduce the concept. So then I thought that yes, we can try AI and now students are enjoying it very much. Yes, good morning everyone. I'm very excited to be able to giving this PPT because it's an effort of the last three years which I'm going to sum it up in 10 minutes today. Uh, my name is Dr. Rajat Dandekar. I am one of the co-founders of Vijuara AI Labs. All of us did our B.Tech and M.Tech from IIT Chennai and then we went to the U.S. to pursue our PhDs. Our PhDs was in the field of AI and then after doing our PhDs, we came back to India with a mission to make AI accessible for all. So since the last three years, we have been working with schools in Maharashtra where we are giving them artificial intelligence curriculum from grade 5 to grade 10. So today I'm going to talk about what is unique in our platform, the kind of curriculum we are giving and the impact it has had on the schools. So as I said, we have been active since the last three years. So a lot of schools, we have provided curriculums, we have done teacher trainings. Students have started some startups in the schools and overall the objective is to create an AI ecosystem in the school, which is grounded in the curriculum. So uh, this is a video from the Orbis school. Here you can see the excitement among the students. They absolutely love artificial intelligence. This is from the City Pride School where uh, we have been doing AI since the last two years. So you will see the enjoyment on the faces of the students. It's a very hands-on subject. The students absolutely love it. And this is how we integrate our curriculum in one of the schools in Maharashtra, where uh, it's a very interdisciplinary subject. So you will see intersection of AI with uh, healthcare in this video. Students can do a lot of impactful projects in the domain of AI. In this video, I'm very shortly explaining about how artificial intelligence can be combined with the domain of music. Now, apart from the students, teachers can do a lot of things with AI. But the main difference is that the teachers are just users of AI and the students are builders of AI. So for teachers, we are teaching them about the different AI tools which can be used to create question papers, images, videos, PPTs, mind maps, all whatever you can think of can now be done with AI. But for students, the objective is very, very different. So our objective, our main aim is to transform your school into an AI powered school. So I'll just play a short video from the City Pride School. So it's a testimonial. Please play the video. You can change the audio setting to Hindi. By default, it starts some AI voice. How did you find the AI curriculum when you first reviewed it? When I met Rajat, he just uh, expressed like how they are going to teach AI, how they are going to introduce the concept. But still, I was not very much sure. Still, it should be taken or not. But then when I saw the platform, see, when you are teaching, it should be from known to unknown. You should always go from known to unknown and that is done very much properly in this platform that is what I would say so then I thought that yes we can try AI yeah. and now our students are enjoying it very much okay have you noticed any changes in student engagement or interest in AI related topics yeah so see now even though the students who are not in AI as a sixth subject so the students who are not in that lab also they are using some apps everyone is using ChatGPT. When these training sessions were conducted for teachers who are going to teach our uh, students, I have attended every session because I was very much reluctant to have AI and that is why I just wanted to see that how that particular concept would be taught to the students. Since I have attended all the sessions, I can say very well that it is on the right track. Okay. how the concepts are introduced. Okay, so the way we are creating this AI ecosystem in the school is by using three pillars. First is a very strong AI curriculum. Second is innovative AI club. And the third is AI research. So it's a combination of all these three, which is making sure that artificial intelligence is really used in the best possible way in the school. So let me explain all these three aspects. The first is the student curriculum. As you might be aware, uh, CBSE and ICSE have now introduced AI as one of the subjects from class five to class 10. Many schools have started the shift from IT to AI as the sixth subject. And I think that really makes a lot of sense because the curriculum of AI is very modern and in my opinion, the curriculum of 
society is completely outdated with a lot of concepts students already know. So AI is something which students are also excited about and it helps them elevate their careers to a great extent. So from 5th to 10th, uh, the curriculum goes in a very structured fashion. And the main thing is about our AI platform, which the director of City Pride School was uh, talking about. So this is something which we have created uh, with a lot of hard work. It uses five main elements, storytelling, real life connections, adaptive learning, engagement and interactivity and project based learning. So I'll quickly show one video of uh, how this AI platform really works. So this is just a mashup of some of the labs that we have inside the AI platform. The main idea is to convert your computer lab into an AI lab. So you don't need any extra additional hardware or infrastructure. With the existing computers, we will convert that into an AI lab. And then students will be performing projects. The main idea is that we'll follow the curriculum, but we'll make it very much hands-on and practical so that students not only learn the concepts, but they get to apply it to some practical scenarios. Here you can see one of the projects, which is at the intersection of AI and uh, SDG goals, where we are teaching students how they can build an AI model, which can detect diseases in plants, healthy leaf or disease leaf. One main thing I'm seeing, you might have seen a lot of robotics AI events. Lot of students are doing these line following projects which have now become very boring because there is no intelligence inside it. We need to infuse robotics with AI. Then only we can have truly intelligent projects, a robot with a brain. So that is what we are providing. We are providing the intelligence to the robotics which you might have already have in your school. So that is our main objective. So main advantage of AI is that it can be clubbed with a lot of different domains. It is truly interdisciplinary. If the students are not good at memorization, if they are not good at maths and science, it's not a barrier because they can mix AI with any field and they can do innovative projects. So our platform has curriculum, uh, assignments, everything which the school needs to integrate AI inside the curriculum, we take care of all the things. So now the second thing is the innovative AI club. It's not just enough to have the curriculum in your school, but students should be doing a lot of AI driven intelligent projects. And uh, this we have modeled based on some of the best universities in the world like MIT and Stanford. So every year we conduct this uh, hackathon, uh, you can play the video, where students whom we have trained in the schools, they present their projects. And as I said, these are not just purely hardware robotics projects, but these are intelligent projects. So it's a very outcome driven subject. It's not just a curriculum, it's curriculum plus innovative AI labs inside the school. And who will take part in these labs? Mainly all students are invited, but we'll select the best students who will be a part of this AI club. And then they will get an exposure of how to build AI driven models and projects. So this is us evaluating these projects in, in, in the hackathon. Okay, so this I've already explained impact of AI in different fields. And one last thing I want to mention is the application of AI in research. What we are doing with schools is that we are solving some innovative research oriented problems. This is a very interesting example. Can therapists use AI for treatments? Detecting pneumonia from X-ray images. Has gaming anxiety increased over the years because of AI? helping mute people communicate, rice leaf disease detector, predicting landing zones of rockets. All of these are projects which are very interesting and students are solving it from a research mindset. So we are publishing these papers in some of the best journals in, uh, in the world. A lot of high school students have now started to write research papers so that they can build their profile so that after 12 they get admits to some of the best universities like MIT. So this research really helps in that direction. So, I want your attention on this last slide, which is the AI ecosystem, which is not just the curriculum, but it's a combination of the curriculum plus student driven AI club and the research club as well. So we have a booth over there, which is booth number eight, Vijuara AI Labs. I encourage all of you to come there and interact with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.